All right. Well, uh, thanks, Hang Song, for the introduction. And um, I will be speaking about twisted mu4 normal forms, which uh, is a twisted version of a model that I introduced a few years ago. So first, the motivation is elliptic curves over binary fields. So uh, the standards for elliptic curve cryptography um, in, uh, for use in Diffie-Hellman or Elgamal typically require an ordinary curve um, over a finite field. And if the characteristic is 2, then the degree of the extension over F2 should be odd. Such an ordinary binary elliptic curve can be written in the following form, y squared plus xy plus a x squared equal to x cubed plus b. Um, and its j invariant is just uh, the inverse of b, so it doesn't depend on a. The parameter a is just the quadratic twist, or it parameterizes the quadratic twist. And for the sake of the standards, binary odd degree extensions, we can assume that a is either 0 or 1. These are the two possible twists. And here you see the two curves. So for uh, these two models become isomorphic over a quadratic extension where we adjoin a third root of unity, omega such that omega squared plus omega plus 1 equals 0. So this parameter a, either 0 or 1, gives a simple characterization of the pair of twists over a binary odd degree field. And in particular, a equals 0 if and only if the elliptic curve has a point of order 4. So recall that an ordinary binary elliptic curve has even order. So we always have um, the closest we can get to having prime order is a twice a prime. And uh, if a is equal to 0, we have the cardinality equal to 0 mod 4. And if it's a is equal to 1, then we have 2 mod 4. So specifically, a equals 0 uh, gives this point c, c squared 1 on the elliptic curve, where c to the fourth is equal to b. So you can write that down explicitly. So it's been noted that for Hessian, Edwards, or uh, or the mu4 normal form that I introduced a few years ago, um, the existence of a small, uh, a point of small order uh, results in symmetries which can be exploited to yield efficient arithmetic uh, defense against side channel attacks. Um, unfortunately, the 20th century standards uh, focus on the nearly prime order and minimize that cofactor. Um, so ignoring the benefits of a cofactor greater than two. So for backward compatibility with NIS, SEC, et cetera, curves cannot be put in Hessian, Edwards, or mu4 normal form, which have these cofactors of cofactors H, which, is, which are 3, 4, for nine, or 4 in the case of Hessian, Edwards, or mu4 normal form, respectively. OK, so Edwards are, can't be fixed up. So they're not backward compatible with these 20th century standards. And over worse, worse still, over any prime field, um, there's a geometric obstruction. You can't just pass to a twist. Um, its quadratic twist uh, is also odd order. So twisted Edwards curves don't bridge the gap. Um, on the other hand, in, in view of the dichotomy, a equals 0, a equals 1, that I um, talked about just a moment ago, the if the cardinality is twice, is congruent to 2 modulo 4, that is twice a prime, for instance, in the cryptographic setting, then its twist will, ha will have a 4 torsion point. Um, and hence, it can be put in the mu4 normal forms, which are the fastest known arithmetic. And so this motivates studying the twists um, since the E itself um, can be described as a twist of a mu4 normal form. So the objective of this work uh, here today is to introduce these twists of the mu4 normal form in order to compute the most efficient arithmetic combined with backward compatibility to standard binary curves. So, um, so let me just, before introducing the mu4 and their twists, let me um, recall the previous state of the art. So previous models um, which covered the cases of, um, of a equal 1. So remember, that's congruent to 2 mod 4. Include the Lopez-Dab, 
A equals one model, uh, and more recently, uh, lambda coordinates became um, in vogue, and uh, we compare the known complexities here just to keep a uh, uh, keep in mind uh, S capital S refers to squarings in the in the field, and we can consider it um, equivalent to well asymptotically negligible if we use optimal um, normal normal bases so that um, squaring is just a uh, change of variables, uh, cyclic rotation or similar. So for Lopez Dahab, the advantages are that they have the best known doubling. Okay, so this is a model which uses a uh, weighted projective space. Um, we get 2m plus uh, 4s plus 2, um, 2 multiplications. The small m refers to um, multiplications by a constant, um, depending on the curve coefficients. Um, on the other hand, this weighted projective model is not very suitable to addition, and the addition is slow, okay? But if you use a windowing method, you can give a bias towards the doubling, and, um, and it's more interesting to um, optimize the, the doubling operation. Lambda coordinates are a bit slower in doubling, um, but they improve by two multiplications, the, uh, uh, the addition operation. Okay, and the mu4 normal form that um, I introduced. So this is this is for a equals one. So this requires a four torsion point. It's not backward compatible. Um, it achieves essentially the same doubling complexity. One more squaring, but again, if that's um, negligible because of uh, normal bases. Um, the dominant term is the 2m, and the best known addition. So this was almost twice as fast as previously known. So we'd like to get the same order of magnitude for these operations for the uh, twisted variants so that they can actually cover the standards which uh, lambda coordinates and Lopez de Hobb do. Okay, so just in tabular form, here we have the uh, previous state of the art and the twisted version that I will introduce shortly. So um, the lambda coordinates, uh, you see the weak point is the doubling operation, three multiplications, a um, uh, bit better addition, and going down. Uh, and what our objective is to uh, cover this last line, you see that we'll have to add two more multiplications, but it still beats any previous um, methods available um, which cover the standards. Okay, so just as a remark, you might think that this, uh, in the bias toward, if we give a weighting for doubling, the 3m might kill lambda coordinates, but it got a lot of interest uh, in recent years in hardware implementations and such. Uh, in part because uh, standard curves have large constants, so the field constants are actually important. And so all, all of these operations, I believe, on the, in the table, if we equate the capital M and the small m, the small m being a multiplication by a curve constant, um, then they all have complexity 4m. So it's not too bad, and it was, it was already an improvement to have um, 11 multiplications, but here we show that we can get it down to nine. So I'll explain how to do that. Okay, first, let's just look at the origins of these, um, at least retrospectively, of these uh, mu4 normal form. Um, so an elliptic curve in twisted normal, Edwards normal form, this is the extended version of Hissel, uh, can be expressed uh, in by these, um, the intersection of these two quadrics, um, up to some relabeling of the coordinates, um, which you can uh, choose to label uh, x, y, z, and t, if you like. Um, and the mu4 normal form, which I introduced, um, looks like this. So I, I'm describing it in any characteristic, so I have a plus and minus signs here. Um, but 
in particular for C and D equal to minus 1 and minus 16 R, that is a twist by minus 1 of the Edwards model, uh, we achieve an isomorphism between these two models. So when 2 is invertible, it has to be invertible because of that coefficient 4 in front of x, x3. Um, we can recognize the mu4 normal form as just a minus 1 twist of Ed Edwards. It's isomorphic to it. And the l only the latter model, the mu4 normal form, um, remains valid over a binary field. So in other words, it has good reduction at 2, whereas um, twisted Edwards or twisted Edwards um, uh, aren't valid in characteristic 2. Okay, now let me just describe a split version of this um, because there are a lot of symmetries that make it easier to describe the arithmetic. Um, so if this parameter R, remember, uh, oops, there. The parameter R here, um, if it's actually one over, if it's a fourth power, so it's reciprocal uh, fourth root we, uh, we call C. Uh, this can always be done for binary fields. Uh, we can rescale the model and then come up, put it in this form, which looks much more symmet symmetric. In fact, uh, permutation of the coordinates is, uh, preserves the model. And in fact, that permutation of the coordinates is in fact a translation by T, by this point T, which is a four torsion point. Okay, and there's another symmetry, which is uh, exchange of variables uh, x1 and x3, um, which, uh, which is minus 1. So this is what I call the split version of the mu4 normal form. It has a few more symmetries, which makes it easier to describe the, some of the addition laws. Okay, now to describe the twisted version, so twists of an elliptic curve in characteristic two or any family of elliptic curves where we want to respect a good reduction at two should be defined with respect to uh, essentially an Art and Schreier extension. So an extension of the form x squared minus x equal to a. Um, and the discriminant of that extension is d equal to one plus four a. Um, and the quadratic twist um, can be with respect to that extension is precisely the curve here. So with respect to the, um, the mu4 normal form that I had earlier, you just delete all of the red bits. D becomes 1 and the A is 0. Um, and in characteristic 2, in fact, D is 1. So this gives the binary twisted mu4 normal form um, which looks very much like the mu4 normal form, except for this plus a times x1 plus x3 squared. Um, there's a simple change of variables over that quadratic extension, which brings it back to the other form. OK? So now let me recall the uh, structure of addition um, in the previously introduced uh, mu4 normal form. We have these very elegant addition laws. Um, and there are actually four of them which provide a basis of all possible addition laws which can be described by a, um, quadratic polynomials. So an addition law is just some set of polynomials that we can substitute into, and this gives um, addition of two points. Um, now, in this work, um, I generalize this for this twisted family, and it looks almost the same. Here are two of the addition laws, and you just have to add in an additional quadratic polynomial here, which is relatively simple. And um, you see that the cofactor of this V13 will have already been computed in the process of computing the addition, addition law, and we just need to do two additional multiplications. So let me see, yeah, here, this is the summary. Um, in Indocrypt, I introduced the, did a complexity analysis and found 7m plus 2s plus two field, two constant multiplications for the uh, complexity of addition of generic points. Um, in order to evaluate either this f 
for the G in one of those two addition laws. We just need to compute V13 and then multiply it by one of these other two forms. And this gives two additional multiplications, which gets us up to nine multiplications in the underlying field in order to evaluate the mu4 normal form. Okay. Looking at doubling, um, the if A is zero, that corresponds to the previous case. We get the first expression for the um, doubling formula. And if A is equal to one, in fact, it's just we change the position. So it's essentially the same polynomials that we have to compute, but the, um, um, the order is exchanged. So the complexity of doubling remains exactly the same for twisted and non-twisted versions, at least in the setting where we um, take in this dichotomy between A equals zero and A equals one. Okay? So summaring again, the same table we had earlier, we, um, this gives us the desired complexity. We lose two multiplications for um, the twisted version, but it uh, covers the standards uh, better addition than previously known and um, just as good uh, multiplications. So also to understand the lambda coordinates, um, it should really be viewed as a singular version of this quartic twisted mu4 normal form um, uh, in P3, but it's projected by throwing away one of the coordinates to P2. And by carrying around four variables in P3 instead of the just the three, um, in fact, it may seem counterintuitive, but you get faster arithmetic. You've thrown away important information that you should have been carrying along with it, and um, that explains um, where you're losing the, um, the interest in complexity. Okay, so just uh, as a conclusion, the faster complexity of mu4 normal form should be used when you can. If you have the option of choosing your own binary curve and its parameters, choose one with small parameters and, um, and, uh, and a four torsion point, you get the 7m plus 2s complexity. Um, if you want to have backward compatibility to NIST and other standards, then um, express it in terms of this twisted version. You uh, have a slightly uh, slower performance, two multiplications for addition, um, but it uh, uh, will cover your standards. Uh, and, um, well, thanks for your attention.